Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel, Badass and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the rest of the month of October 2023. I cannot believe this month is already over. Anywho, I'm gonna pull a seven card spread, see who you're dealing with around this time. I'll get a good look at how they currently feel about you. I'll take a look at their true intentions with you. I'll take a look at how they're behaving towards you for the remainder of the month. And I'll also be looking into what's in your blind spot with this person, Cancer. Meaning, what can negatively impact the connection around this time frame that maybe you have no idea could even be an issue for the two of you's relationship in the first place. Whether you're doing something to sabotage it and you have no idea that you're doing it, or your person is, or something or someone external to the two of you seems to eh, interfere with you guys being together for whatever reason. If that's the case, I will definitely do my best to find out what it could be, why it could be, or if it could be a thing in the first place, followed by your advice. So let's get nosy. Also, I recently lost my voice. <clears throat> so so if I'm talking a little bit lower than normal, I'm okay, I'm okay. I just gotta preserve the voice a bit. So let's begin. Spirit, please connect me to Cancer today. What's going on in their romantic love life for the rest of October 2023? What do we have for Cancer? Who are they connecting to? What's the situation? And can Cancer trust this person's intentions with them? Cancer, love, October 2023. What is their tarot forecast? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck from my adorable Krabby Patties. Okay, so the person that you're connecting to around this time, how do they currently feel about you? We have the Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords in this art depiction shows me that your person's feeling like there's some sort of conversation that is needing to take place between the two of you and they're a little bit nervous, a little bit hesitant, a little bit squeamish. I don't know if this is like a first conversation in a few days since you guys have last spoken, maybe after a conflict or there's a very important conversation that they want to talk to you about but they're kind of nervous about how to approach the, the topic or there's something else going on. Um, sometimes the Two of Swords is the energy of feeling pressure to make a decision, but feeling stuck in two different mindsets about what to do about the situation. Uh, Gemini had this as their person's feeling, so you could be on the cusp of Gemini season. But I'm definitely getting where this person feels a conversation needs to take place between the two of you, all right? And there's just this pause before, you know, reading a message, replying, answering a call, something like that. We'll see. How do, what's their intentions with you? The Five of Pentacles. So it does feel like someone here recently abandoned um, an opportunity, whether it's because it's what they wanted or felt like they had no choice to do. It, it almost feels like something is going on between you and this person, Cancer, and they don't quite understand what's to happen next. So there is just this energy of what's next. You know, there's like something illuminating over this person's shoulder where they're like, what's next? Do we let this go? Do we give to it? Okay, what's their behavior towards you? The Queen of Cups. So their behavior towards you is very loving. They have their heart open to you. They want to nurture this. Their, their feelings for you haven't changed. The Queen of Cups, when it shows up in a reading, is all about unconditional love. You know, having that love for somebody even on a bad day. You know, you guys could have a fight and this person could look at you and think, man, I hate you, Cancer. But at the end of the day, they love the heck out of you. You know, it's one of those type of situations where you can't hate someone for too long, but you can hate them at the moment. So I don't know if you guys had some sort of disagreement or you guys are just not agreeing to something. Um, but at the end of the day, this person loves the heck out of you, you know, and this is your energy cancer. That's the queen of cups. Okay. So I'm, I'm strongly getting that there's deep feelings here, but there's, there's this energy of what happened? What happened? And there's like a conversation surrounding it. Now, how do you feel about this person? The wheel of fortune, which is the art depiction screams, what happened? You both are in the exact same energy. You're, you're in this vehicle, you're driving to this person's house, and then you get met with a huge roadblock. And 
you're like, what happened? What happened to the street I was on? And then you look up and you see three different choices of directions and you're like, universe, what happened? What, where you want me to go with this person? I have no idea. I have no idea. You might even talk to yourself in the car when you're alone and you know, talk about this person and try to process your thoughts about this person. You know, I, I'm strong again a cancer that either drives a lot or is always in the vehicle talking about their person out loud to themselves because it helps you get your feelings out without people around instead of journaling. Um, or someone, someone here talks to themselves a lot and it's very therapeutic. But I'm strong again a cancer that feels like something big is happening or something big needs to happen, but just doesn't understand what exactly it, it is. Because the Wheel of Fortune is all about monumental changes. You cannot, you know, have the Wheel of Fortune card show up and not expect to see some sort of major change take place. It's it's usually the expect the unexpected energy though. All right, so you feel like some sort of change is happening between you and this person. You could be also connecting to a fixed sign. This is the energy of Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. Now, what is in the blind spot with you and this person, Cancer? The Hierophant, major for Taurus. Now, sometimes when the Hierophant shows up in the blind spot for what's hurting a relationship, it could be another relationship involved or someone has difference in values difference in beliefs cultural difference difference in upbringing um, you both look at relationships in a different way you both respond to relationships in a different way or what's negatively hurting this connection is you guys have not fully committed to each other whether it's because you're waiting on this person to get it together and make a decision in regards to whether or not they want to build a life with you and you're in this energy of get it together, make your decision, you either want me or you don't, it's not that difficult. Or there's something external that's making it difficult for this person to give this answer to you but it has very little to do with how they feel about you, I'll tell you that much. Um, now, I'm also getting somebody telling me that what's negatively impacting this connection this week is the fact that you guys are going through a lesson and someone's not understanding the lesson. Because I'm watching this teacher write a lesson on a whiteboard. It's teaching a class. It's teaching their students. But when it's in the, the blind spot, someone's not paying attention to what the teacher is teaching them. So it could be telling me that what's hurting this relationship around this time frame is you guys are not paying attention to the lesson here that you're being taught about this relationship. And the more you don't pay attention, the more roadblocks there will be in your y'all's relationship. And yes, I said y'all. A Bostonian chick said y'all. <laughs> it's the medicine, you guys. It's making me act weird. Okay, so what's the potential outcome for this month? Day to one. So there is gonna be a breakthrough. There is gonna be a breakthrough. The Eight of Wands is all about gaining momentum. It's all about communication. It's all about texting, DMs. It's, you know, planning outings, planning dates. It's just, it's very fun energy. Um, we need to have a breakthrough here because this can't keep on keeping on, okay? So I do feel like someone's gonna like break, break the, the flow here or the lack of flow actually. What's your advice? <clears throat> the four of wands. Your advice is to support this relationship if you feel like it supports you in return. The four of wands is building a community of people in your life that you can really lean on and count on, not just lovers, friends, family, you know, your neighbors. The four of wands is the energy of cherry picking the right people to be a part of your life, your, your, your special bubble of people who are in the know that you can count on. And I am looking at this henna tattoo and henna tattoos are temporary tattoos. So I don't know if you and this person are just going through a, a temporary setback and then you guys will reclaim your relationship. There's something going on here where, you know, you might need to look at your relationship with other people in your life also. There might be other people in your life that's affecting this as well. But what's the overall energy? the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles as your overall energy together, it definitely tells me that you and this person do respect each other greatly. The Queen of Pentacles is all about 
you know, respect, it's all about feeling, you know, protected, it feels stable, it's grounded energy. And I'm looking at this woman mending a blanket, okay? So this could be referencing that you guys may be mending something, okay? Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I do feel like someone's needing a little bit of inspiration around this time. Someone's losing inspiration in the relationship between the two of you. Whether you lost your inspiration, or they did, or the both of you. Someone's in this energy of, what are we doing? I, 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 need, some, I need some inspiration here. I need to know what I'm doing here. I need to be inspired to make this decision. Okay, whether you're doing that or them. So I'm going to start clarifying. Now, if any of you Cancers are in recent no contact with anybody, I will pull their head and feelings at the end. <clears throat> Some of you guys might have your moon in, uh, moon, in, uh, moon in Libra. Why is that Two of Swords, how this person feels about Cancer around this time? The World card. And now on the bottom, I have the Five of Swords and the Death card, the King of Cups. So now we have the King and Queen of Cups. This person feels like something is changing between the two of you, okay? I'm looking at your person here. Picture this cute cat, your person, and they're looking out that window, like longing for something. Looking out the window and knowing that what they're longing for is out there somewhere is just unattainable right now, unreachable. That could be you. They could be looking out the window thinking, well, there's cancer out there somewhere, but cancer is unreachable. Maybe you haven't returned their calls. Okay. Possibly after a fight, five of swords, or some sort of altercation that left, you know, a huge misunderstanding. Um, the king of cups to the queen of cups tells me that there's a lot of emotional maturity, but someone's not exercising that emotional maturity right now. Um, I definitely feel like a cycle is coming to an end for somebody here and all chapters that close lead to doors that open. Okay? So let me get another card on how this person feels. Why is the two of swords in the world how this person feels about cancer? Ooh, the seven of swords and the nine of wands and the queen of pentacles. Even though they respect you, right now they don't trust you. They don't trust what really went down, okay? The Nine of Wands is telling me that they're willing to protect this relationship at all costs, but they've got their guard up with you, Cancer. They don't feel as comfortable being completely open and vulnerable with you right now. Something may have happened to you recently, to the two of you's relationship recently, that left this person feeling like how vulnerable that they were before, they can't be as vulnerable with you anymore. Or that's flip for somebody. It's like someone saw a different version of somebody and is now like, whoa, I was not expecting that. I went to pick up this set of cards off the table and this one wanted to stay on the table. And it's the Queen of Cups and the Strength card. Some of you guys could be Cantor Leo Cuspers. But um, the Queen of Cups is showing me that although this person may feel like they can't trust the situation or trust you right now. They still love you. They still love the heck out of you. Once you love somebody, it's really hard to stop loving them, even in an argument. You know, I don't feel like what happened with you guys recently is enough to, you know, end the relationship for the good or uh, for good, excuse me. But it's enough for you both to like kind of throw your hands up at the universe and ask, what are you trying to teach us? Because I'm, I'm missing my cliff notes here. <laughs> you know, I don't know what this teacher's teaching me. She's a bad teacher. You know, she mumbles when she talks. I need a new teacher. <laughs> so let's clarify your feelings. Why is the Wheel of Fortune how Cancer feels about this person? Some of you guys could be at a distance with each other. With that world and the Wheel of Fortune, show me a vehicle. Why the Wheel of Fortune? All right, so you got the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups and the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. You miss this person if you're not communicating with this person. And if you are communicating with this person, you miss something about the way you guys were initially. 
because the six of cups is you know connecting with someone that makes you act childlike makes you act like all your adult problems are non-existent for a moment in time um, it's it's someone that you can cut up with and laugh and just talk a whole bunch of crap and just laugh for hours it's a really sweet bond a very sweet bond that you don't find every single day and the queen of swords coming out with your feelings tells me that you feel hurt and you feel like you have to watch and observe this person a little bit more closely to get back that again but at the same time you're missing that okay you you feel like you have to look at this person differently you both are marrying the heck out of each other just just letting you know that you guys are feeling the exact same way so there is a huge like difference of what really went down all right their intentions right now is the five of pentacles their intentions is to abandon something right now even though their heart is still involved um this might be where they feel like you need to step up let's see why the five of pentacles the hierophant and the six of pentacles and the lovers so their intentions oh 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 hold on rewind for 10% of you, their intentions with this situation is to, for any of you in third party situations, someone's intentions is to ab abandon um, a prior commitment that's been holding this back. Okay, that's just for 10%, I feel. Let's get back to the other half, or not other than 90%. Um, their intentions is to give to the situation equally, Six of Pentacles, because they feel like you and this person share a very special bond but they're choosing it to ignore it right now because they don't trust how you are feeling about them somewhere along the lines this person stopped thinking that you cared they don't think you care about them at least that's what shows up in this reading this person's like cancer doesn't even care that you know i'm feeling this way so why is the hair found in the blockage or for the blind spot? Ah, oh, that's, yep, that's what I just got. Four of Cups. The Four of Cups for the blockage is the energy of someone acting disinterested. All right? And sabotaged a chance for a relationship to grow. When the Queen of Cups shows up in a reading, it's mutual love. So someone here was you know playing with fire and got burned you know when the queen of cups shows up it's mutual feelings so someone here made another person feel like it was not so mutual and another person's like well fine i guess if i'm the only one that loves the other person here so i'm gonna like peace out you know and it was not what the other person expected i'm strong again someone did not open up and confirm that they also felt the same way about their person okay the four of cups is cancer energy cancer did you not tell this person you cared about them did you friend zone them six of cups um and if that's not the case that's it, it's definitely telling me someone may have started acting bothered by the other person's existence because of something that was not being addressed right because the four of cups can also be someone sulking someone in their feelings and being a bit moody and passive aggressive hoping that someone's just going to mind read why they're upset and the eight of swords is self-sabotory behavior i don't know who did it i don't know if it was you or this person but whomever was feeling some sort of way should have voiced that in a in a really open and communicative way instead of hoping that someone's just going to understand what they were feeling or mind, mind read them something like that communication is one of the biggest factors in a healthy relationship if you can't communicate your feelings to somebody why are you with them in the first place you know communication can really make and break relationships all the time someone felt ignored someone felt rejected someone felt like the other person just lost interest or was just not fighting for the connection anymore and what i mean by fighting i mean like putting in all their effort you know i don't mean actually fighting for somebody you shouldn't have to fight for what's already yours all right so the queen of cups is this person's behavior towards you they're still sending love out there to you 
So if, if it's been a minute since you've guys spoken, this person possibly still prays for you, still wishes good things for you, things like that. Why the Queen of Cups as this person's behavior with cancer? The Chariot and the Eight of Cups. They're sitting in that chariot waiting for you to hop on in, but if you don't show up, they're gonna go. Go in a different direction. Okay, Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. We've got somebody here that's wanting to move something forward. All right, and I see that with the Eight of Wands here. But it takes two people to make a successful relationship. It takes two. So I only see one cat in that chariot. So I'm, I'm strongly getting someone needs to hitch a ride here and get something to move forward, which I do see with the Eight of Wands and the outcome. So let's see, because I do see some messaging. I do see some forward movement here. I do see some back and forth engagement. Six of Swords and the Four of Swords. Six of Swords is moving on from any conflict. Six of Swords is, is moving on from distress. Six of Swords is making peace, um, healing a situation after a period of maybe you being on a break with each other, Four of Swords to the Hermit. And if you guys were not on any break, uh, the Six of Swords is definitely telling me that somebody's in this energy of, all right, we got to get past this. We got to get past this. This, 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 is, this is bogus. Are we going to continue acting like this? And if someone's not on board with restoring peace and faith into the connection, someone's moving the heck on. Someone doesn't want to live like this. Okay. So if you guys both want to be with each other, you both have to talk. Why the Four of Wands as Cancer's advice? Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. When an opportunity is being presented to you, really look at it carefully and ask yourself, is it an opportunity that would bring me a lot of happiness or is it an opportunity that would better serve somebody else? All right, because Tarot, tarot doesn't predict the future. It, it, it shows you what opportunities are around you and it's up to the human involved to take the opportunity or not take the opportunity. Your decision now defines your future. So Cancer, you and somebody here are going through hmm, something interesting. I don't feel like there's love loss but I do feel like someone's irritated with the communication. Communication is really not good. Someone feels shut down. But there's an opportunity to move past it. All right, someone needs to get out of their head though. So it feels like, you know, you guys haven't been talking much the last few days. But I do see an opportunity for you guys to move this forward and get back to the way you guys were. But again, it, opportunities are there to be taken or missed. It's totally up to you. But whatever's meant for you will always cycle back around again. Okay. Uh, now, if you're in recent no contact, I'm going to pull their hidden feelings. But for zodiac signs that came through this reading, I have strong fixed energy. So Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. I have strong Cancerian energy here. Um, and that's the main ones. Don't focus on the zodiac signs too much. All right. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a prior reading with me, Cancer, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, do check out your Cancer October 2023 Love Me Monthly I did for you and the two weeklies I did for you. It's in my October playlist. And the most recent All Signs reading I did. It's linked below. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw that, saw past that into my soul. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be in the same place in the world. All right, Cancer, that was for you. I'll be doing your November monthly in a few days or so. All right, until then, I love you, Cancer. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl and later, Gators.